Please raise your right hand. Business owner Terry Lee Bruce is suing her cousin's girlfriend for rent on an RV. Defendant Tyna Broussard says the plaintiff should have found a new tenant. Now, let's see. Mrs. Bruce, the defendant was your cousin's girlfriend slash lover for a time. They broke up and the defendant needed some place to stay, so you offered to rent her an RV camper trailer that you had. Yes, sir. She has defaulted on the agreement, moved the trailer, which you had to locate, and you seek damages and past due rentals. Yes, sir. Tell me what your arrangement was with the defendant. Okay, well, June, um, my cousin called me saying that uh, Tyna needed somewhere to stay and that her and my cousin were breaking up, and I had just bought this this trailer for uh, profit. You know, I didn't get it because it was cute and that I liked it and I wanted to keep it. I wanted to make a profit on it, you know. Entrepreneurialism. Yeah. The small business person. Yes, sir. The country depends upon that yeah. category well, of individuals. See, on top of that, you know, I ran into some money last year, you know, and I wasn't worried about money, you know, and she needed it and I felt sorry for her, you know, and I let her sign the, you know, we, I made her sign a year's lease. You know, she paid me the $500 security deposit or something. And you've given me the documentation on your sworn accounting. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Well, uh, she calls me the next month saying that she didn't want to rent it anymore and that she was moving back in with my cousin and that she had already moved it off of her client's property onto her father's property. I didn't even know where it was at. How am I going to rent it out? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's one of the questions I was trying to get answered and fathom out where, when it was that you actually learned the physical location of the vehicle. When she called me. Yeah, but did you know where that was? No, I didn't. Okay, what I'm asking you is when did you find out the spot on the planet Earth where the trailer was so that you could go look at it, touch it, feel it, or remove it? One month after her first payment. So you've gone by there and you've assessed that there are some damages that have to be repaired. Actually, Judge O'Brown, she called me to let me know when she did move it that she uh, messed up the axle. Oh, you right. haven't actually seen it. Right. But she's advised you that one of the axles has been damaged. Exactly. Yes, sir. And you are giving her credit for a $500 security deposit. There are 11 months worth of unpaid uh, rentals at 250 a month. That's 2750. Total 3350. Okay, you've made out your basic case now, Madam Defendant. What's your defense? Well, I was living with my boyfriend, and we were having trouble, and I wanted to move real fast. And um, my boyfriend's brother told me that their cousin had a trailer for sale. And he called her for me, and I talked to her, and she said she didn't want to sell the trailer, but that she would rent it to me. And so we got together, and I went to go look at the trailer, and I gave her, right then, I gave her the $500, and, you know, she gave me the keys, and they moved it to where I was going to be living in it. And um, I wasn't there for very long. I have six cats. And I decided after I was living there with the six cats for a little while that it wasn't big enough for all of us. Your Honor, can I say something? Hold your point. I'll come back to you. Okay. So I um, moved the cats out, and I, uh, I was afraid that where I had the trailer parked that the lady would try to keep the trailer or something, and so... At one point, I just decided right then, I called my brother and asked him how soon he could be there to move the trailer because I didn't want the lady to keep the trailer, then neither of us would have it. So he came and got the trailer and we moved it out to my sister's property next to my dad's house. And I would called her and told her I moved it. She wanted to know where it was at. She could have asked me. I would have told her. It's not like I had it hid under a rock or something. We'll be back with more Judge Joe Brown in a moment. Well, she can have the trailer back. Give it back. But it Take has, it she back. Can have it. She can it have it. Brown. Well, it I'm giving her 250 cats. extra to go retrieve the, the My trailer. My cats didn't do anything to that trailer. I don't know that, Tiny. 
Closed captioning sponsored by... We are back with Judge Joe Brown. The defendant says she rented the plaintiff's RV along with her six cats. She says the trailer became too cramped for the seven of them, so she decided to move. Let's take a look. Well, since she was nice enough to tow it to the original location, why weren't you nice enough to tow it back to her location? She didn't have anywhere to put it. Well, it could have been returned to the same location where it was located before the original removal to the rental lot. Well, I understand that, but I didn't have time to do all of that when I was trying to time get the trailer is out money. of there. I understand, but I just didn't want the lady that I had, the property where I had the trailer parked. I didn't want something to happen so that time the lady would try money. to keep the trailer. If you I want understand. somebody to do it for you, pay them for doing it. Well, I did. I got my brother to move it, and then I called yeah, her and told her I moved it. Yeah, but that's not back to the plaintiff who has the titles to the property, right? So what's that going to do her? Plus, how can she rent it if she doesn't know where it is? Now, put your hand down. You're doing all right so far. <laughs> Be careful what you say. It may not help out. No. So I called her and told her, I mean, I called her ahead of time and told her that I was thinking of moving out of the trailer. So what? This isn't a month-to-month -month tenancy. It's a year-long lease, straight up and down. Well, when I called her to give her notice that I was going to move so out of it... So how are you supposed to get out of it just because you and boyfriend got the hots for each other again? Well... You know, it's I, costly. I told her I would help her try to find someone who would rent the trailer, and sh they didn't well, want to did do that. You? They wanted me to, to honor the lease, which I didn't want to do. Well, you have no option. You are leased of a trailer at yeah. 250 a month. She's counting on that for income. She's got 12 months worth. You paid her one month. But I gave her notice so that she could try it to start finding someone. It doesn't give you notice. The only notice that's effective on this one is, is that 30 days before this particular lease is up, you and notify her that you do not intend to renew so it would not go into a month-to-month -month periodic tenancy on the same terms as the year-long lease. You still have basically absconded with, absconded with or concealed uh, her personal property, to wit, one RV. Well, she's known where it's at for a while. She, she doesn't hasn't bothered know to go where get it, it is. You know where the trailer is, and she hasn't bothered to go out there. It's not her obligation. Well, how is she going to get it? You breached the lease. Give it back. How is she supposed to get the trailer? She can have the trailer back. Give it back. But Take it has, it she'll come back. get it. She can it have it. Brown. So it I'm has giving her two fifty extra to go retrieve the, the My trailer. My cats didn't do anything to that trailer. I don't know that, Tina. Well, if you would go out there and look at it, you would know. Well, if I had an address to where I knew where it was, I would. Duh, all you have to do is ask me for the address. I would take you out there where it's at. Judge Joe Brown makes his ruling after this. Did a jealous ex ruin your property? Call 1-877-JOES-LAW or visit judgejoebrown.com. See, her point, uh, Madam Defendant, is that how am I going to get mitigation and rent it to somebody if I don't even know where to find the thing to go rent it out or where to direct somebody to go look at it? Now, see what I was trying to do? I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay. Now, she did you the favor, and now she's supposed to do you another favor because you didn't do what you contracted to do. Well, if she had a place to, to put do. the trailer, I would have had my brother move it there, but she oh. doesn't. She moved it before she called me, so. I can have my brother move it any day of the week to wherever you want it. 3600 will be your recovery and your cost. Thank you, Judge Joe so Brown. Trailer for sale or rent, it seems it's a little bit of both. What is clear is the fact the defendant signed a one-year lease, and she really likes cats. Uh, the judge likes the plaintiff's case, so the judgment goes in her favor. We'll be right back. Next on Judge Joe Brown. I love to eat meat. I'm sorry that he doesn't. Vegan roommates have a beef with Herbie. I confronted her. I said, I know you threw my groceries away. Why'd you throw the meat out? It was an impulsive decision. Next, Judge Joe. We're back. The defendant and her man put the relationship back together and let things fall apart for the plaintiff. Not anymore. Judgment for the plaintiff.
To submit your case to Judge Joe Brown, to download sample documents, or to find out how the law can work for you, go to JudgeJoeBrown.com.